sun starting to set now over Great American Ballpark in Cincinnati. Tonight, the opener of a three-game series between the Pittsburgh Pirates and the Cincinnati Reds. These two should provide some big-time fireworks. First pitch is coming up. A chance here to check out the starting lineup for the visiting Pirates. Eric Karros, who you focused on? Well, guys, Jung Ho Gong is someone to really pay attention to right now. He's a catalyst for this offense when his bat is hot. Just needs to keep having good at bats. Homer Bailey, a right-hander from the state of Texas, is the man on the mound here. What do we need to know here, E.K.? Yeah, guys, he won his 10th game of the season in his last start. We'll see how he does here. Number 79 will stand in for the first time, and you can see the average there as he continues to flirt with a 400 season. Well, when you look at what this guy's done so far, Matty, he leads this ball club in average. He says. He's been a huge part of their offense so far this season. Bailey pauses. Here's the pitch. And he takes a cold strike, 0-1. Oh, and, and Eric, as we take a look at the Reds entering play here tonight, they're on a nice little run, winners of four of their last five ball games. And they come into this one fresh off a three-game sweep to start the homestand, so they'll be looking to keep their winning ways going here. Ball and he misses with it, 1-1. One and one. Well, that's a good spot for that two-seam fastball. You know, remember, that'll run away from left-handers, so a good idea to work the outside edge. They'll run this one in on him, one and he can't connect, so he finds himself down one and two now. Yeah, that's in a great spot, too. Just hard, late movement working down and in. A ball and two strikes. Here it is. Ball. And that misses two and two. two balls, yeah, an two interesting strikes. setup now on two and two. Here's where you really need to pay attention to that guy at first. He's set. Here's the 2-2. Runner goes for second. Okay. Pitch outside. The throw. And he can't hold on to the throw as it short hops him and eats him up. And this is one of those guys that can certainly be an X factor in this series. He sets a tone early here with a first inning steal of second base. Jay Hay on a stolen base there. Go try to drive him in. to be thinking strikeout here high in the air and deep to left center field Montes racing back number 61 was a wall scraper, Kenny Woods open just the same a home run so Kenny that long open. ball is taking him pops. one away from the century mark in home runs for his career not a major milestone but a pretty impressive number nonetheless yeah good for him he's really shown some solid power so far in his career and he's about to reach a milestone that quite a few major league hitters never reach. So as we check it out one more time, remember that for years, 61 was the number to beat, and he's tied it right here. Leading off the inning, Joey Votto, and they'll need him to get something going here. Well, you know, they've fallen behind by quite a bit in the early going here, so they need a good inning here to get him back in the game. Kennedy into his motion. Here it is on 0 1. Pitch swung on and hit in the air toward the line in right. 
Number 79 is there to take this one, and the bottom of the second starts with a one pitch out. And with that, let's give you a look at how the Pirates align defensively. It's brought to us by Majestic. Any thoughts, Eric? Well, guys, we get to watch one of the best fielding teams in the league. They can go out and get the ball as well as anybody in all of baseball. Makes pitching a lot easier. Number 79 stands in. Number 79. And he lays off a pitch in there for the first strike. And even though that is a strike, it's okay. These guys have been really patient at the plate. They've had a good game plan up there, and it's worked out for them so far. Chop fouled over towards the coaching box. Bases are empty, one man out. Hit in the air to right center field. This ball is carrying well. Oh, Back it goes. Kenny Wood and it is, is open again. Number 100 for you, Pops. Solo shot to right center. His second of the game. And the Pirates are up 5-0 now. Joe has just clubbed a milestone home run. It's the 100th of his career. Well, it's obviously not easy hitting home runs, Matt. That's why the best power guys are so popular. I suspect this one feels a little extra special, but I'm sure he'll keep things in perspective. He's not a threat to any record just yet. Number 100 on a career. I'm coming for you, Gary. I'm going to race your records from the book. It ain't like you never existed. I'm coming for you, Gary. Riding into the box, Jay Bruce. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Well, you know, it never feels good to go down on strikes, especially looking. It wouldn't be surprised to see him be a little more aggressive in this at-bat. Kennedy pauses, 0-2 on its way. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Number 79 is there, and he'll bring this one in. And no tag at second. He'll head back there with two away now. And, you know, he's kind of going through a stretch right now where the ball just isn't jumping off his back. He's got a good pitch to hit right here. Looked like he put a good swing on it, but it just didn't go anywhere. Number 79 will step in now. Two for two with two home runs thus far. Well, he's got that power stroke working, Matty, so why not get a little greedy and look for another one to drive? Here comes the first pitch. And a fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. And you figure now this would be a spot where that man might try to take second base. And it wouldn't be a bad idea to hold the ball a little longer out there on the mound. Really vary your times to the plate. You can't be predictable out there, or he'll take advantage. Line hard toward right center. In there, a base hit. And they'll have runners at the corners following the one-out single. And he's well on his way to a nice series now. Third hit so far tonight. These guys are going to need his production here, so a welcome side indeed. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Andrew McCutcheon. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. 
chop foul at the plate. It'll remain one and two. Runners are at the corners with one man out. And the slider runs away from him there, and the count levels at two and two. The early hit total, about what you'd expect in a score line such as this. He's ready with the 2-2 pitch. This one's blooped out toward right center field. Hamilton has it, and I'd be surprised if they send the runner. And he is in there. Stay. And never much of a chance to even think about scoring there. What a big second out. That just didn't get enough of that one to get that run home. So that's probably a wise decision to hold it third. Jung Ho Gong will stand in in another dangerous spot here in the inning as this ball game is hanging on the precipice of getting out of hand. Yeah, I think you have to get this guy if you're going to have any chance of sticking around. Even a single here might put this one out of reach. Five runs, seven hits, and no errors so far for the Pirates. Wanted to go after the slider, but Down he holds three off. Lines. Three and one. And remember here, you've got a base open at first, so a walk is not the worst thing that could happen. Here's the three one. And the count will be full. He's set. Here's the three and two. Throws hey. it on strike three for the final out of the inning. Pirates strand a couple, but they hold a five nothing lead. Jay Bruce will stand in now with three home in the inning already and two more ducks out there at second and third. And a chance to really put up a crooked number here with just a simple base hit. Taken high and deep to right. Right fielder looking up and this one is gone. A home run. Three run shot by Jay Bruce. Number 18 for him on the campaign. And this one gives him the lead at six to five. Well, remember now, with two outs, he had a base open here. So he didn't have to challenge him if he didn't want to, but he decides that this is the guy he wants right here. That's a decision that's going to wind up costing him three runs. Number 79 will come forward now in what could be an at-bat that goes a long way toward deciding this ball game. And they better be careful, too, because they haven't gotten him out yet. So this is no small task. Looking to keep this a one-run game. Watches a fastball right there for strike one. And this is a big spot here in this ball game. You've got to be able to move that guy up 90 feet. It's a must in this situation. He 
is set. Here's the 0-1. Back up the middle, and that'll get through. It's into center a base hit. Around third and being waved on home. They're going to extend their lead as the runner scores from second. It's now an 8-6 game. Man, and what a night. This fourth RBI of the ball game. He's just been on fire with runners on base. They can't get him out. Settling in now, Andrew McCutcheon. He flew out in his last at-bat. And now the Reds are going to get the bullpen moving here, and it's a lefty and a right-handed up and throwing. Well, no good. offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. And think about it. In game one of this series, they've already had to go deep into their bullpen. This could affect them for the rest of the weekend. Ball three. Lays off the change up, and he's three ahead ball. in the count now. Three and one. Well, this is a good fastball spot for him now. And keep in mind, he's got a big hole on that right side of the infield. Eight runs and even ten hits. And one error in the contest for the Pirates so far. McCutcheon nope, will take ball one four. that misses. It's ball four. It's hard to believe that for all the runs that have been scored, this is just their first walk of the ball game. What they've gotten, they've had to earn it. And they're going to get another base runner right now. Jung Ho Gong strides into the box now. Launched one over the wall back in the opening frame. And he lays off for a side. ball, two and one. He's still got a couple pitches to deal with right here, but he's starting to lose command of his pitches. You got to take a step back, take a deep breath, and get back in the zone. Three runs already home here. That's he's fallen three. behind now, three and one. Count, in danger one. now of a second walk out of the bullpen. Not exactly providing relief. He's got to find it here somehow. The 3-1 pitch. And he ball lays four. off there. Ball Pickering. four. So back-to-back -back walks have him in business here with nobody out. And this could really be trouble now because with runners on every base, they've got a chance to really break this thing wide open. Justin Smoke will stand in, one of the few guys not to join the hit parade so far. Yeah, guys, he's got to be feeling a little bit like that dog that gets left out in the rain while the rest of the family's inside by the fire. I guess he's just not seeing what everyone else is. Goes the other way with it as this is in the air down the line in left. The catch is made near the line in left, tagging the runner from third. Oh, the throw back in is a wild one. Beat it at. You all Could love that. Big nice sack, right smoke. There. You'll take anything you can get at this point, and that pushes a lead up to three, so he'll be getting some high fives in that dugout. Number 79 will come up now in yet another big RBI opportunity. And he's got four already, and he's got a chance to make this a game to remember. The fastball here is he'll take a look ball at ball one, no one, one and oh. Seemed to quicken his delivery to the plate on that last pitch. Well, you got to remember the slide step does two things for you. It gets the catcher the ball quicker so he can throw a guy out, or it will hold the runner on first so he doesn't steal at all. 
Comes oh, in with a changeup, and it's 2-0. and oh. And you go back to the call on that very first pitch, how important that was. Now instead of a one-on-one -on -one count, you're at 2-0 and oh with a really dangerous hitter up there. Three and three oh ball. now. No Green strike. light here on three and oh. Yeah, I want my run producer swinging the bat. If it's my number seven hitter, probably not. Runners are at first and third, one away. Grounded back up the middle. A he's flip out. of his glove for one. No, and Devato, a double play, and that ends the inning. Your basic six, four, three will get him out of danger. More ahead from Great American Ballpark right after this. So a good offensive showing for these guys. But if we had to pick one player that stood out, that's our man right there. He's our tops player of the game. Yeah, you see a couple of hits for him in the ball game. This one was tight throughout. But in the end, he really helped lead his guys to this victory. So that just about does it. For EK, Psycho, and the crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, get those smartphones and tablets out and head over to the shownation.com. The Reds win this one 10 to 9. Good night from Cincinnati. The final line score for our ball games tonight for the victorious Cincinnati Reds. 10 runs on 14 hits. One error. They left 12 men on base. For the Pirates. Nine runs, 12 hits, one error. They left 10 men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 45 minutes. A reminder that post-game Metro bus service is available to Anderson Township, Cobblewood Plaza, Kenwood, and Western Hills Plaza.